Uh, right, I need to find this minigame real quick. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was quick. Smash the rock to find gems. One player has a big pickaxe, while the other three have three smaller ones. With the three smaller ones, you have to hit the rock three times in order to destroy it for good. But the big one, just one swing, destroy immediately. You just move the left thumbstick and press A to swing. The big pickaxe get up. I just said that toes worth. <laughs> All right. So here we go. You'll demonstrate. Now the AI is not really known to be cooperative in this because they might actually take your line. The gem positioning is random every time. Just a heads up. Wow, I've not... <laughs> Are the gems all found really deep or something? Because there is a chance you can find a purple gem, like that one. That's worth three. That's actually perfectly timed, that was. As I say, there's a chance you can find a purple gem, and I found a purple gem. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright. Okay, next turn is going to be Bowser time again. What turn are we in right now? 15, okay. Four. Okay, I land where Toad it is, or I land on my blue space. Hey, it's. I think Toadette might actually get the star this time. So. Wait, oh, Piranha Plant Orb, okay. I didn't see Boo pick that one up or anybody pick that up. The, if anybody lands on that space, no matter how many coins they have, they will lose half the amount of coins. No kidding. They will lose half their coins. Okay, lucky seven for Toadette. Usually that's the case with Las Vegas, where I believe when you roll the dice and you roll a 4 and a 3 to get lucky 7, you win or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really a gambling man, so I wouldn't really know. Catchy tunes. The first four player minigames actually listed in my list. Run around and collect the falling musical symbols. You must collect one of each kind to win. Move the left thumbstick and press A to jump. Watch the shadows to predict where the symbols will fall. You can also jump on other players to stun them. And uh, just a note, no pun intended, um, you actually get to see which notes you've actually picked up on the corners of the screen for your character. So don't just keep chasing random notes. And I got jumped on immediately. I oh, forgot to say. Daisy kept stealing the ones I was going for and allowing Toadette to actually take the spotlight. Yeah, I wanted to win them in the game because I didn't want to see myself on 69 coins. Okay, Boo might actually be in trouble here because if this is the um, the bridge one again... It is. And Boo is actually on a bridge. I don't know if he actually stays on the space he's on or he gets sent back to start. I don't actually know. He stays the way he is, okay. Twist the wall for Daisy. 
If I get to roll a six or higher, she won't be able to, like, affect me. And, of course, I roll a three. Land on Bowser, probably get a single-player minigame and, and have a chance to lose a star. Calling it right now. Single-player, lose a star. Just like it was last time. Single player. Yep. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I am for. I am hugely in the lead. Oh, not this mini game. This is one of the hardest mini games to win. Slaughter World. Line up three key symbols on the slot machine to get a key of your own to win. Just press A to stop the slot. Watch the slot's timing and press A when the key flies by. It moves fast, so you may have to guess. So, you want to tell me, watch the slot's timing, but then guess anyway? That's kind of silly. But yeah, the uh, one on the far right is the fastest spinning, so you can never tell the timing on that one. The first one you can. Second one, kind of, eh. Case in point. Oh, green. Oh, come on, that was on the key. Okay, green again. Red. Red again. Okay. Hey, nice. I think I actually got the fastest one first try, and the other ones that took like no end of tries. But yeah, I am not having a star stolen from me, Bowser, after the four you stole from me back on Rainbow Dream in Mario Party 5. I am not having another brutal stage like that. Because I was lucky to win that game. From having four stars stolen from me, to then becoming in last place, to then suddenly claw one out of the bag. At least on the plus side, we've got one multiplayer minigame and one single player Bowser minigame left to show. And T Boo has got the star, that's fair enough. I want to at least have a competition because this board's not going to be interesting to watch if I get every single star. And. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can still taunt in this game, but, oh, there's a star space there, I didn't know that. I've actually never seen a star spawn there before. And that's why I said you're lousy, because he's landed on Bowser's face again. Uh, here we go, it's going to be Bowser multiplayer. Oh no, single player for once, nice! Finally, I actually get to relax. And... Pff, wow! Um, Bowser, you do know you could actually steal coins instead? What is your obsession of single player minigames where you get to steal their star? Especially when Boo just bought one on the same turn. And I thought we were going to get the um, other minigame, which was um, Tunnel of Lava. But, I guess I'll have to wait and see for that one. Blue Bowser, first key. Green Bowser, key. Blue Bowser, Really? So, you press it six times. Fail, pass, fail, pass, fail, pass, I'm out of here. <laughs> and it's actually weird. When you see the lava glow on Boo in this shot, he looks like a pink Boo from a distance. He really does. <laughs> You're telling one of your minions that he should have given up the star 
No wonder why you keep losing to Mario Bowser. <laughs> Seriously. Nine. And, well, nearly a perfect 20. That might have given Toad at the start, actually. And you probably could say, Toad, you could have gone up, but I keep forgetting that space going past the shop is actually the quickest route. I keep forgetting that. I, oh, she hasn't got the star. In fact, she's actually got the happening space. Hey, our first 2v2! Bumper crop. Okay, gotta try and... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's gonna say, gotta try and find it, and I found it immediately. Work with your partner to load three kinds of vegetables into the truck. You must load two of each to, to win. Well, two of each one. There's like two carrots, two turnips, and two carrots. Just press A to pick... Um... The fetch and then land on the arrow cardboard spaces to like throw them in. Um, I didn't actually really advise, but yeah, there are some occasions where you might actually pick up a fruit like a sprout and there'll be nothing there. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, we could have actually won. That's actually happened um, three days ago as well. I was like picking up plants and it was like, there's nothing there, there's nothing there, there's nothing there. And then when I finally find one, it's when it's too late. Okay, Daisy is. What is she doing? She could have thrown that choice of space five spaces that way to put it one space in front of the star so when everybody tried to go for it they were going to get blown away. That's what she could have done. So yeah, this is actually what I mean about getting the feeling that, like this is not going to be a competition because the difficulty spike of the hard difficulty in this game is just <sighs> they make too many silly moves and I'm being warped so I'm not getting a I'm not getting an orb ah uh, oh, it was swap coins of course it would pick me for swap coins Uh, yeah, going down this way. No matter what, I do have this in the bag because I'm currently minigame, running, shopping, event, um, orb, and I'm basically all of the bonus stars at the minute. I think Boo is probably now happening because I landed on... Actually, yeah, Boo is happening because he's landed on three happening spaces and I've only landed on one. So yeah, I've gotten every single bonus star except for the green one. Single player again. It's obviously not going to be a star this time because they um, Toadet doesn't even have one. Half coins. Okay, he's taking pity. Slollow world again. God damn it. Hey.
Okay, slot one for Dodet. Got the key. Got the key. Oh my god, I was actually going to say. I was actually going to say, if she got the key all three times in a row, no fail. I mean, they're actually making that minigame look like the easiest minigame to win, but honestly, it's not. It honestly is not the easiest minigame to win. I <laughs> love that sound effect where Bowser goes, <laughs> It's just so funny. Hmm. Uh, 2v2 again. Sphere Factor. Help your partner roll a giant ball to the goal. First team across is the winner. Just left them six to move. Try to cross the wooden bridge and avoid the dip. If you fall into it, you'll lose time. There's a wooden bridge. It's not really much of an obstacle course. One Daisy. Oh my god. Every single time it always gives the impression that it's me who's in the wrong with this because it's like I'm pushing it. But um, it's always like going in the direction of me pushing it, not where the AI is pushing it. God's sake, Daisy. Push it away from the thwomps, not into the thwomps. Daisy, what are you doing? See, look at this. She's letting me push it all the time. There we go. Alright then. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of like um, thinking of something at the moment. I, okay, I, I probably believe she's going to say no this time. Yeah. Because she is in the running for the star because she's got the coins. My coins to be precise. Did I seriously land on the Bowser's base again? Right, okay. Usually I would be like, I'm going to show the vacuum orb, but it would be 10 coins if I was in last place. But to spend 15 coins, to have a chance to steal 30, sorry, I'm taking the piranha plant orb. No, I just narrowly missed it. Okay. Um, just having a look at the board. Who's actually closest? Okay, me and Daisy are closest. Boo's all the way over there. Toda is down there. Nah. Oh, actually, it's something I should really point out. Let's say, obviously, you saw there. That was actually proving my point earlier on when I said that the AI does override the mini Bowser spaces, but they don't override others. As in, like, Boo doesn't override Toadette's mine or Daisy's. They just allow us to take it and then bam. Just choose another space that they find applicable. But. Um. Something I should really point out with the uh, mini Bowser spaces. If you override every single one of them, 
I believe Bowser might show up and spawn in three more. So, by all means, you want to at least keep one um, mini Bowser space on the board. Because otherwise, if you get rid of them all, you're just going to put in another three. Okay, so Toadette here, I don't know why she's only doing three, because she's in last place. Come on, Toadette, hurry up already. Strawberry, apple, and grapes. And she had to yell that microphone like a chicken. Look at okay. That's what she's doing. <laughs> oh my gosh, she had the easiest running and she failed. My god, told it. Oh <laughs> uh, I know a good mimicker. Four player mini game. I was expecting it to be a battle at first. Ghost in the hall. Ah, a haunted house. Run for the exit to get out before everybody else. Just left on six to move. Open doors will slow your progress while pink boots will stun you, so watch out. And as a heads, heads up, you have no idea where the open doors or the pink boots will show up. It's random every time. Okay, so run straight up. There's no doors down this way. Oh, there was a door down there. But it didn't actually spring up for us. We're in the halfway point already. Got stunned by a pink boo. Oh, why is that? Oh, god damn it! Okay, boo's at the halfway mark. I don't know who Toadette and Daisy are. Ow! Oh, actually, no, no, no. It's this way. This way. Ah, oh, Toadette's one, and I just found the exit too. You say that, Daisy, but you're in last place. 